hello guys from this series i am going to teach you the tutorial of node.js so without further wasting any time first let's get started so what is node.js as you can see node.js is an open source server environment node.js allows you to run the javascript on the server it simply means that node.js is open source it means that anyone can view the source code it and modify according to his needs and node.js allow you to run the javascript on the server it means that you can create your own server with the javascript you can understand it as a runtime environment for javascripts and what is the feature of node.js so node.js as you can see it is an open source server environment it means that you can view its source code and it is also free it means that you don't have to pay those organization which distribute node.js because it is free and it is open source and you can modify it as well and node.js runs on various platform it means that node.js is cross platform it means it runs on either windows or linux unix mac os or and it means that you can run it on various devices either it is mobile windows linux unix mac os or whatever it is and you can see that node.js uses javascript on the server it means that you don't have to use another language to create uh, to manipulate the backend like you, you use python for the backend or whatever like asp.net or many other languages it means that you can simply use javascript for the front end as well as back end as well so it's a great feature and you can see why to use node.js you can see that node.js can generate dynamic page content it means that we can create a dynamic page content which means it can change it can change according to the time it means that user can modify it it means that your content will be no longer static when create the dynamic page content as well as static page content node.js can create open read write delete and close file servers on the servers it means that you can create a file open read write or whatever you can do many stops many stops with the node.js you can create the file on the servers delete as well as read and write node.js can collect form data it means that you can make post requests get requests from node.js it means that you can collect form data like you can see you have already used sign up username or password that is what it is node.js allows you to it is very handy and as you can see node.js can edit delete modify data in your databases it means that you can connect your node.js server to the database either it is mongodb mysql or whatever you can create so you can add you can do crud operations you can add delete modify the data in your databases and now let's see how to install the node.js on our computer so first as you can see i have given link https node.js.org so i will provide the link in the description so first simply you have to go first if you haven't subscribed my channel then please subscribe because it motivates me to try it motivates me to build awesome content like this so, and let me know in the comment section if you are liking this tutorial or not and as you can see you can download the node.js for windows 64 and you can download the lts version which is here as you can see it is recommended for most of the users so simply just click on the version and as you can see it is being downloaded so my internet speed is pretty decent so as you can see it is an executable file so you just have to give the permissions it doesn't matter and just click on the next but i have already installed it so i am going i am not going to install so i am going to just cancel it once you have installed once you have installed you can open the command prompt and you can just write their node and as you can see i have gone in the node previously what we did you can go in the java um, what i said it is a web browser and then only we can execute the javascript scripts so as you can see i can write hello world from sajan khan and as you can see but now due to node.js we can run in the terminal as well so i can just write their console.log hello world from sajan and as you can see we got the hello world from sajan so let me just uh, not make it transparent much 
as you can see we can also do some addition stops as you can see 9 we can do anything we can either create variables and to exit you can just type dot exit and you can also use the node version so that it will uh, specify the node version for you it means that as you can see my node version is 11.1 .1 and it is 12 so let me just update it oh sorry i have it already installed i don't know why i did let me install you and let me demonstrate you how to do it so it is saying please wait while the wizard prepares you to guide through installation okay not a problem migrating feature states from related applications okay so you can just click in the next i accept the term next and just click on the next and don't just tick that it's not necessary to use and this will take a few minutes to install okay so i'm going to pause this because i don't know how much time it's gonna take so i'm going to pause this section as you can see node.js has been installed successfully so i can just now go to the command prompt and i can again check my version here so i'll just write a node version and i can see that it's the 12.18.2 so i hope you can do it and it's a very easy and i'm also going to teach you and it is not this tutorial is not only limited up to node.js i mean i am also going to teach you how to use the express.js with node.js it means that it is going to be a back-end tutorial but first let's clear the basics of node.js